CTV Community Television presents The Focus Program, hosted by Paul Dingaman. Welcome to another edition of the uh, Focus Program. My name is Paul Dingman. Glad to have you along. It's uh, the Thanksgiving, beginning of December, and wow, we are packed with wonderful information for you and your family about events that are coming up uh, right here in Marine City, St. Clair, and all of the Blue Water area. Let's begin with a friend, a new friend that I just met, uh, Sarah Dudak. Welcome to the Focus Set. Thank nice you. to see you. You are the music director for uh, St. John Vianney. Church yes. in Sterling Heights? Shelby Township. Shelby Township. Shelby yes. Township. And you will be part of a huge organization that's coming to St. Mary's Catholic Church uh, Concert Series. Talk to me about it. Yes, I'm a member of the Archdiocesan Chorus of Detroit. We sing at Blessed Sacrament Cathedral. We're more or less the Archbishop's Choir. We sing for all of the major events downtown. And we are privileged to be a part of St. Mary's Concert Series to come bring our full chorus, about 48 voices. Wow. Yes. When I looked at the brochure, it, it, there on, the, on the DVD that, uh, that we're going to play in a second, it was, uh, in fact, it's up right now. Uh, there was four different choirs from around the city? Yes, that was uh, from last year. We did All Souls Day. We did a choral mass where we sang the Durafle Requiem, not in concert like it's normally performed, but as a part of the mass. And so Joe Balistrieri, our director, invited in several choirs throughout the Archdiocese. I was very privileged to bring my choir down as one of the participating choirs. and. Uh, and then to sing the psalm as well, but that's beside the point. Being in choir is not an easy thing. I mean, it's a lot of rehearsal, a lot of time commitment. It is. It is a lot of rehearsal. We rehearse weekly for two hours, and we prepare for all of the major events in the Archdiocese, whether it's ordinations. Um, we do a choral mass once a year, uh, concerts. It's all a part of uh, the... Detroit music program and the, all the music that happens at the cathedral. Here's a picture of you. Can we turn the audio up there, uh, Evan? And let's hear you singing as a solo. Maybe not. <laughs> we can drop that in later, but this is part of the choir. And they yes. Were part of it last year, this yes. It's a part of one of the assembled choirs. Mm -hmm. um, so, but you, you guys have a mission. You're going to be uh, going for a little trip. Yes, we are going on a Rome tour this January. It's going to be just about a week long, but we were thrilled to be invited to sing uh, with the Sistine Chapel Choir for wow. Pope Francis on Epiphany. Wow. So, yeah, it January is a 6th. wonderful privilege, yes. So yes. this performance at St. Mary's Catholic Church will be just a month before your Mm -hmm. your uh, big day in, in, in Rome. Absolutely, yes. This is uh, one of our, our kickoff concerts. We'll be singing uh, most of our Rome repertoire will be at this concert as well as other repertoire. But everything that's going on the road with us, we're going to be singing at this concert. Uh, the concert you're going to have at St. Mary's here in St. Clair is on a Sunday, yes. uh, December the uh, 6th at 5 o'clock in the afternoon. Yes. And uh, I think there's a small donation. Is there a Tickets are 15 and yes. uh, 30 for a family, and there's an afterglow too, afterglow at the Voyager. But the series itself has been very successful over the last couple of years. Mm -hmm. uh, Paul Schaefer's done a great job, and uh, this certainly adds uh, a, a real prestige to it to have you guys come. Absolutely. It's, uh, we're coming from a long way, but uh, we were assembled from all over the archdiocese. How many chorus members will be here? Brown figure. It, it should be the full chorus. The full chorus is called, so it should be approximately all 48 voices. Wow, all 48, wow. Yes. And uh, there are some solos in it, I see. Uh... Yes, there should be some. Um, there will be a lot of wonderful organ repertoire as well. Um, our director, Joe Balistrieri, is a phenomenal organist. He has his master's from U of M. He's fantastic, and he'll be presenting some of his repertoire. There will be uh, Sharon Metz is another organist in the choir. She will also be doing some performance there, as well as um, smaller groups singing, scolas, um, doing some of the epiphany propers. These are 
t proper text for the Mass that we will be preparing for our trip to Rome. I think you like what you do. I love what I do. <laughs> I absolutely love it. <laughs> well, we encourage everybody to come. It's Sunday, the December uh, 6th, just around the corner, 5 o'clock at St. Mary's Catholic Church in St. Clair. And, mm -hmm. of course, the world is welcome. Yes. And a uh, small admission charge of 15 bucks, but it's really worth it. Very It'll well be worth, worth it. it. Absolutely. Really good. Night. Nice to meet you. And good Thank luck you. to you in your trip to Rome. And uh, sing your heart out. Absolutely. Thank you. We'll be back with a group from uh, Marine City. They're going to have a new event, which is called Merry Time. Not days. Just Merry Time, Chris Merry Time Christmas. That's what it's called. We'll be right back with them. Just a minute. If you haven't been to Marine City in a while, boy, oh boy, are you going to see changes. Absolutely. Turned upside down. Things are happening all over the community. And we've got a group from Marine City High School and from downtown businesses here today to talk about a new event, which is called Merry Time Christmas. Laura, nice to see you. Hi. Welcome back. Thank to you. The Focus Thanks, Paul. Nice and from Marine City High School, the Laura, uh, Lori. Lori nice Gardner, to, yes. Gardner, nice to meet you. And then a couple students, James, you're a... The last name? Sobolewski. Sobolewski and? Stephanie Abraham. Stephanie Abraham, and they are a sophomore and a senior. Sim. Nice to meet you. Welcome. Laura, Thank you. let's start with you. What's, what's going on? What's, what's this new event, which is called Maritime 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 Christmas. Christmas. Uh, well, the Mariner Theater has teamed up with WGRT yep. um, Radio up in Port Good Huron. People. Um, as well as the local businesses and the high school. Yep. And we are bringing to the town a citywide celebration of an old-fashioned type Christmas. Wonderful. Wonderful. So we're focusing on shopping and Santa, and we have a prince and a princess that we can come and visit and take pictures with. Um, we'll do some fundraising. We have um, theater that is going to have... Um, uh, they're going to have Miracle on 34th yep. Street, I yep. believe, on uh, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Right. Uh, we'll be showing a movie at the Mariner. Uh, there's just a lot of things. We have, you know, old newsboys are having a craft fair. So it really is a citywide event, and we're trying to get um, as many people involved and bring people to our beautiful town and share it with everybody. The date of the event? December 5th. December 5th, all day? 10 o'clock till 8 o'clock. 10 a.m. till 8 p.m. And the stores all up and down the downtown area. Yep, everybody's decorated. Some, everybody's you know, ready. Specials and sales yep. and things along yep. those lines. You'll, you'll arrive at the Mariner is your first stop. We'll give you a goodie bag. It has a lot of discounts and information oh, good. about good. Our, our stores, restaurants, and things. Yep. And then we will have our helpers, who are the students from the business school at Marine City High School, who will be wearing their Santa hats. And right. uh, they will be helping local businesses to help promote their business. Okay. And, um, you know, give away goodies yeah, and, yeah. and things of that nature. Lori, talk to me about uh, Marine City High School, and you are the business teacher. Yes, I am the business education and teacher. you corral these guys. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yes. Yeah. So I teach financial management and business essentials. And so in my classes this semester, I have um, started something new, project-based learning. And part of that is having my students create something um, that comes into putting them into the real world. Okay. So uh, the main thing that they have done is they've done some brainstorming with how to advertise. And I think what we're most excited about is they created the idea for an event for the children that attend Palms Elementary and Bell River Elementary to um, have a Christmas art contest. Really? So um, Stephanie was a big part of that in my third hour business essentials class. So I invited her to come today and she might want to talk a little what bit did you about do, Steph? Well, we came up with the idea because we wanted to get like the younger kids involved in Maritime Christmas. And now that you're so old. Yeah. <laughs> well, <laughs> like elementary students. And we came up with the idea of having a coloring contest for them. So we had like each grade have a different thing that they would draw in color, and we chose the winners, and they're going to be displayed in the theater. Oh, wonderful! In the Mariner. 
Uh, well, they're going to be in different locations oh, throughout store. town, but the, the, the prizes that they get, they have to come to the Mariner to pick up their prizes. Okay, but yeah, so they'll be displayed all through town. And Jim, what, uh, James, what was your involvement in that project? So I've kind of been helping to organize um, the outreach to the Marine City High School with Maritime Christmas and all the different projects that are going on, the volunteers. And it's been really cool to be able to get some real world experience and a lot of fun to help Do you like volunteering? Community. Yeah, volunteering is great. Why? It's, it's nice to support your community and give back, you know. Good, good, good. What, and are, your, he, what are your plans for next year? Oh, next year? Mm -hmm. um, I'm probably attending Wayne State next year. Good for you. Any particular subject? Uh, I'll be information technology major in their school of business. Oh, that's good. Good. All right. He helped us for, formulate our hashtag, right, mm -hmm. for our Twitter account. Yes. So. Social high tech. media. Yeah, high tech. <laughs> we are social media <laughs> gurus now, that's right? That's great. That's great. Yeah. Uh, East China School teacher, how long have you been with the district? Eight years. Eight years? Um, I was a substitute teacher for um, about eight years, and then I was hired, and I've been a teacher now for eight years. So 16 years total. Wonderful. Yeah. Oh, okay, yes. great. Yes, yes, and I graduated from Marine City High School, so oh my it's really awesome to be a teacher there now great. and um, work with all the students, so I love it. Uh, Laura, talk to me about uh, all the work that Gary and you have done, Gary Coe's uh, at, the, at the Mariner, and uh, the yeah. name obviously was, is appropriate. And, yes. Uh, the, the marquee, everything else looks Yeah, like it looks fantastic. great. Well, we moved uh, our... When are you open so people can come by? Well, um, our Titanic exhibit and our galleries, we have world-class galleries filled with just beautiful models and things from all over the world. We are open on the weekend, so okay. usually from 12 to 5, and then we've just now launched classic movies. So we um, have a limited seating. We have 48 seats, uh, and they're all original 1930, original mohair theater seats. And then, yeah, a lot of classics are black and white. We're going to be doing documentaries. So we're just bringing another element to a very unique town. You know, the mm -hmm. town's already unique without, without us. We're just adding another element to the town. So in addition, we have included Sombra in this event. So we're trying to reach out also right across with the ferry boat right there across from us. We're reaching out to Sombra, which is the town on the other side. So um, we are promoting Sombra as well as Marine City in this Maritime Christmas. It's so exciting to see all of the things that are happening in Marine yeah, City. Yeah, it is. Uh, I have had the opportunity to be at Marine City Fish Company the other night. Yes, with fabulous. With one of the past principals of Marine City High who was there 10, 15 years ago, right. and he said in the summer when he would come downtown uh, before school opened, because the cafeteria wasn't open, and he'd come down to eat, there was one, maybe two choices right. to, to eat, and everything right. else was closed up. Yep, now, so. you can't get a parking place. They got no. a new, t totally different problem and totally different attitude, right. and it's just and, marvelous. And you, there is something there for every taste bud. Yeah. So it doesn't make it, you want a pizza, you want this, you want that, You we have mm -hmm. it. So right. it mm -hmm. is really, um, we have a lot of great restaurants. Right time, restaurants. right place. Yes. Right time, yep. right place. Yep. Okay, so let's go through what we got again. It's December the 5th. Talk to me about how the day and what happened. December 5th, we're going to have, um, we're going to have a couple of our, we're going to have a couple pop-up shops because. Right. Um, Did you get a shot of this, uh, Dave? A couple pop-up shops. We're going to have crafts. We're going to have, um, we're going to actually have a wagon ride that will be tractor drawn, <laughs> and it'll be taking the walking tour, which we have a historic walking tour in Marine City. So this wagon ride will take you on that tour. Um, we're trying to get a shuttle bus right now available that will take you from Marine City downtown all the way out to KFC, so you can also enjoy the craft fair and vice versa. Oh, mm -hmm. great idea. Yes, yeah, so it's a very, very community-wide. Yeah, yeah. Yes, good idea. Yes. So we'll be bringing a lot of the businesses also downtown. So if they are on the outskirts and want a presence in town, we have tables available so they can showcase their company. Um, so yeah, crafts for the kids. Princess Things Rose. For, we have Princess Rose and Prince, and Prince David. David. Yes, will be there for pictures and okay. Santa. Okay. And, yeah, so lots of fun for adults and children. Wonderful. The date is. Go ahead. I was just going to say I would also like to take this time to thank um, Gary and Laura for. Um, extending this to my students and giving them this experience because I think they've had a lot of fun with it and it's real world Same. and um, they have been great to work with and I just kids will learn a lot from those yes two. yes thank you so much. they do That's they nice. do thank so um, anyway so huge thank you to and them thank you guys are you <laughs> kidding well, thank you for including us <laughs> so the name of it is uh, Maritime uh, Christmas for kids and adults shopping giveaway Santa wagon rides discounts Everything you need for uh, getting ready to, for Christmas, December the 5th, 
all over Marine City. Don't you dare miss it. We'll be right back with our next guest in just a second. Well, we just had a group uh, of very enthusiastic people from uh, Marine City talking about Maritime Christmas. And part of that whole we day is an event that's been going on for a long, long time. And that's a fundraiser for the old newsboys of Marine City. Plus, there's a craft show with Nancy Furtall. Let's find out from George Bukowski Hi, Paul. and Nancy Furtall what's going on with Joe Dogs. 23rd annual. 23rd annual, yep, it's on December 5th. The same, same day. Yep, it's always that first Saturday. What time do you guys start? Um, we start at 8 in the morning. 8 in the but morning. But the show doesn't start till 10. Okay. But we go in to get the food ready, the yeah. hot dogs and stuff, and get the crafters all set. But as they were talking about in the previous segment, uh, they're going to have a, a ride back and forth from downtown to Yeah, they uh, to said the they were doing a shuttle, yeah. A shuttle, which is a great idea, so mm -hmm. people can shop and then come have a Joe dog. Right, they can do both. Well, Great and idea. we want them to all come for Joe dogs. Cause yeah. This year we have 6,000 we want to do. 6,000 hot dogs. Yep, last year we did five. But they just aren't hot dogs, they're, they're Joe do dogs. They're Joe dogs. Last year we had 5,667 of them. They were putting out 808 an hour wow. in the kitchen working to get those out. Oh so this year we want to make the 6,000. So I'm hoping everybody comes. <laughs> Mr. Bukowski, I don't know. That's a lot of food. That's a it, lot of hot dogs. It's a lot of hot dogs to wrap. But There's, what does the money go for? <clears throat> well, the old newsboys helps uh, children get a Christmas who don't normally get a Christmas. And we aren't affiliated with any government agency or even the old newsboys in Port Huron or in St. Clair County. We're our own little group and we operate solely on donations. Okay. And we sell newspapers. Our newspaper yep. sale is yep. next uh, Friday and Saturday, the 27th and 28th. Okay. Major street corners and um, banks and shopping banks centers. and businesses, that kind yep. of stuff. And and we're dawn to dusk on Friday and dawn to noon on Saturday. And that's one of our big fundraisers. The craft show is our other really big fundraiser. And. Um, most the other money that comes in are all donations that we get uh, by mail and, and plus the HOH. Yes, and the HOH is the Hells Our Home Motorcycle Club is having a little fundraiser for us. Meet Santa on the same day as the craft show on the fifth. Theirs starts at six in the in the evening, goes till nine o'clock at night. They give you free cookies. You come in with a donation of uh, money, uh, toy for us or a can of food or two for the helping hands. Now last year they didn't get a whole lot of food and they, they collected $1,600 for it. Oh my God. And they yeah. told us, well, can you take $300 of it and get food from the, you know, wherever for the helping hands? We said, sure. We got a whole lot of food at cost good. from the food depot. Good. Yep. And it, it's very good. There's also another fundraiser at Anita's on December 9th. That's on a Wednesday. It starts at 5.30, goes to 8.30. Ten dollars so will get you all the pizza you can eat and uh, <laughs> for an adult. And kids under 14, 14 and under are um, eight dollars. Let's run through some of the pictures that we're looking at here. Uh, that looks like you're preparing the Joe dogs in yep. the. Yep. In here, the, here's in the, here are the kitchen. Here are the kitchen crew slinging dogs. Okay, and there's George yeah, Bukowski right in line. Them, wrapping them. Oh, you're wrapping them. Yeah. I thought you were getting one. No, no you. They you start at the other end. Yep, there's the beginning of it, and they get the hot dogs out of the water, stick it in the buns, and pass it on down. That's and, quite a crew. And those few people crank out that many hot dogs. They're and, tired at the end of the day. They want to see oh, another yeah. hot dog for another year. I got a 20 minute break last year. <laughs> and besides that, I was wrapping. There's Jim Hadamac, yeah, yeah. the king of the dog. King of the dogs. There's a good crew yeah, there. Yeah, a small portion of the crew. Yeah. And there's a quote my wife made out of old Joe Dog shirts. Oh, okay. All she's, right. She's already making another one, and we just got the new shirt. I just got the new shirt. Wow. From Nancy. And here's a bunch of uh, crafters at the craft show. And there's our bake sale. Yep, our lovely lady, too. Yep, there's yeah. my wife and Santa. <laughs> Yeah, she said you've been a good, pretty good boy, so. I don't know. But here's some more of the craft show. And we also have raffles going on all the time. And 
those are all given out at the end. Um, and this is the Knights of Columbus Hall on, on, on uh, King, King Road, Road. Yeah. King Road in Marine, Marine City. City. And uh, from 10 in the morning until? Until 5 at night. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. We do all of our drawings at 5. Okay. Here's, here's, so here's one of our members, and he's also a crafter. Bird. Yeah, he, he does makes bird, bird houses. houses. Sells a lot of them. Okay. A lot of crafters. Keeps things, going there, yeah. Things packed. Yeah, the hall's packed. The crafters all seem to do pretty well. They uh, enjoy. They want to come back. So here's Hell's our home. Meet Santa. Wow, that's and nice of what they do. They really decorate up, don't and they? And I have oh, to yeah. tell you, they normally um, smoking is allowed because it's a private club. During this event, there's no smoking in the wow. clubhouse. Wow. Yep. So you don't have to worry about getting your clothes all smoky. Here's all your um, boxes. Um, not all of them. That's just one portion of them. Right. That's just one bay. And all the all the boxes are labeled with the with the kids' uh, address, and uh, there's other information. That that's we at use the on. fire hall. That's yeah. at the fire hall. This is the repair bay. This uh, this is the repair bay on the floor, and that's the, the other, other wall. wall. <laughs> and Lots here's, of stuff. Here's the other section. We've even expanded into the fire, so the, where the trucks are. You. You uh, sort all these the things that you get, yep. and then you, you have already picked the families, and then you distribute. Yes, we've been working off working off a list the list for years, and people will if you don't need help, you don't need help. Right. You just tell us. We if you do need help, um, call there. Mike Horn. He's on eight ten seven six five ten fifty six. Great number. And if you need help, and. Um, generally, he will contact. If you had help from us last year, he will contact you again this year to see if you need help. We had, we've had some cases where um, kids have, the families have been helped by the churches, mm -hmm. the schools, whatever, and so they don't need our help mm -hmm. anymore. Mm -hmm. Last year, we did 318 children and 148 families, and wow. that's down about 10% from last year, from the year before, and that's good. Yeah, you know. If people don't need help, you don't need help. Right. And we met our goal last year. We had a goal of $33,500, and we met it last year. And Marvelous. And uh, a few years ago, we didn't quite meet it, but we had enough money in our reserves to cover it. So we always have some money left in our reserves to cover in case of bad times. You know? So 765-1056, and the man's name? Mike Horn. Mike Horn. Just Mike, give him a call Mike's and tell been, him Mike's what been you're been doing it for a long time, so... Doing what your need is. And our area that, that we cover is the Marine City Fire District. Even though Marine City now is part of the fire authority mm -hmm. and is the whole area, we only go by what the old Marine City Fire District was that the Marine City Fire Department used yeah, to Yeah, you have. can only go so far. And we've had, unfortunately, some cases where, you know, somebody moved across the street and we can't oh. help them anymore, mm -hmm. unfortunately. So. Well, it's wonderful work. and. And we salute you for doing it. And uh, but we encourage you. It's December the fifth. A lot of things going on that day. Mm -hmm. But 10 a.m. till uh, 5 p.m. Yeah. And the Joe Dogs will be spectacular as yes, always. Yes, yes. And, and we're hoping uh, to sell all shows. six thousand. So Nancy I hope they help. Thanks Thank for doing you. a great Thank job, you, Paul. George. Thank thanks you. for doing a great job for the for the kids of uh, Marine City. We're back with Dave Lenarski, who does lots of good things. We'll hear about him in just a second with Dave. Well, as I said at the top of the show, this is a busy, busy time of year, Thanksgiving. Christmas just coming around the corner, and there's lots of things for you to do and see. This is a flyer that you'll be seeing around the community, which talks about a Christmas uh, concert, and I can't read it backwards, so tell me, David, <laughs> what, what do we got here? Oh, I can read it that way. When is yeah. it, it going to happen? December 12th. Uh or Saturday, December 12th. This is our second annual Christmas concert. It's uh, helped uh, put on by Water's Edge Ministries, right. which uh, promotes uh, the Christian music in this area. And uh, happens to uh, uh, be uh, the RTG band, which is a band that I'm part of, which is a contemporary Christian uh, rock band, um, or pop band, how you want to call it. And uh, we've, uh, we've just got out of the studio and just... The, really? Yep, ours. Our CD is actually will be released uh, this December. 
So it'll be our first uh, Christmas CD, first CD or just a regular it's CD? Gonna be a, it's going to be a Christian uh, CD of basically, uh, you know, most of us came from the band Rivertown Gents that yep. many people know. And uh, that helped form this band. Uh, we have some new members in it. But uh, we decided to write our own songs about our life and, mm -hmm. and personal faith stories. And uh, we put it together onto a CD and uh, uh, produced it. And we're excited about uh, getting it released. God, it's got to so, be exciting. Yeah, so that's... How many years have you been in the music business? Um, 20, 25, 30? Uh, I've, uh, I've been playing since I was 14 with my, my mother and father when they played in a band. Oh, did so, they? So it's, uh, I've been, been in the music industry All your life. for a long time. And this is your first CD? This is my first CD. My mother's very happy to hear that. <laughs> <laughs> it's, uh, it's something we've always been wanting to do and uh, finally got on our hearts to finally settle down and, and do it. Um, uh, we, we had a great producer, and uh, the CD's going to be coming out. It'll be on iTunes and Amazon, and it'll be, uh, it'll be great. This part of this Christmas concert, they'll get to hear some of the music that we wrote on the CD, along with a mix of some great traditional Christmas music that we're going to put together. And uh, we have uh, Taylor Clark, who's another Christian uh, artist, uh, guitar player and artist, that he's bringing his band, uh, and he'll be uh, playing well, also for bands. us. There'll be two of them. And he's, uh, he's wonderful. He's a great guitar player, great vocals. Um, so he'll have also somebody there. Um, one of the biggest things we like to do, this is our second annual Water's Edge Ministry, again, has helped us promote and put this on. Uh, one of the things we like to do is, is give back all the time to whatever we do through the community. So this year, we picked a local and an international. So we're kind of doing both. Um, the local, uh, we, we really feel... Um, strongly right now with the Blue Water Pregnancy Care Center, what's good going people, on there. Good people, good people. Jennifer's and, great over there. Yeah, on here many and times. she is, uh, she's been doing an awful lot, and she helps, uh, gosh, I want to say a little over a thousand, some, you know, young ladies, young ladies and, and women um, with these unplanned and untimely pregnancies, and they provide all kinds of things for them um, to, to try to start their lives out mm -hmm, better. Mm -hmm. And uh, so we're, we're, gonna, we're happy to be able to give the proceeds back to that. And there's another organization, an international organization called Straight Path Ministries, which happens to be somebody that was originally from St. Clair that moved to Guatemala two years ago. Really? And started a ministry. Wow. Uh, Derek, Derek and Mimi Ellis. And so um, we've been in a lot of contact with them. And what they're doing is, is helping a lot of the children there in the undeveloped areas and in the mountains and rural areas. So many good there. things in the world. Yes, and, um, and uh, they had a calling to do it, and you've you got to be special people mm -hmm, to, to mm -hmm. do that. So we want to help them out also. Uh, so all the proceeds uh, from this concert will go to you know, both uh, local and that international uh, organizations. The concert itself is going to be in a, in a very familiar location, which is the old St. Clair Middle School, East China Education Center, uh, whatever you want to call it, St. Clair <laughs> High School if you're old enough. Uh, on 301 North 6th, uh, down the hall from where our studios are uh, in the, the, what is now the uh, uh, Waters Ed Ministry Church on Sundays. Yeah, there's a, there's a church out of there, um, Fishers. Fishers. Community Fishers Church community. out of there. And um, he was, uh, Joe Dengis yeah. there is so kindly to let us use that to put on this concert. Um, I remember going seeing shows there. Yeah. Hello, Dolly, and all that yeah. when I was a kid. Yeah. Uh, the acoustics in there is beautiful. It holds still, you know, three, four hundred people. Four hundred people. Yeah. It's a, it's a great venue to be able. To, I, I wish it You're would get used more. Close to your audience. Mm -hmm. Close to the audience. Um, you know, it takes a lot to put on a concert. Uh, of course, as you know, and you have to have your stage crew, and you have to have all your your people for setting up all your sounds and your teardowns, and um, it's a lot to put on. But um, I think this would be a great way to just get the Christmas season going and to help uh, help people within the community and outside our community. Ten bucks is the price of the ticket. Uh, just can't, can't beat that price. Uh, tickets at Silks uh, Flower Shop, Sweet Tooth, Todd May down in Marine City, and uh, www.itickets.com. Yes. Uh, and, and the concert starts at 6. The doors open at 6. Doors open at 6. Concerts at 7. Um, you know, there's other information. You can go right on our website, www.rtgband.com. And uh, all that information will be out there also. And uh, there's a lot of people involved to putting this on, but it's, it's going to be a nice concert for the community. How many members to RTG? We, we, have, uh, we have six members um, that uh, are, will be there for concert. Uh, we still have our female vocalist, uh, Peggy. 
Turner Carr, oh, which she's great. used to sing with, she still sings with Rivertown Gents. And um, uh, also Chris Ofino, who is still with the Gents, who's been with me for a long time on the keyboards. Um, and then we have David Winans from the uh, Winans Christians Brothers. Wow. Uh, he's, uh, he's, he plays uh, with us and sings and plays bass. And um, uh, Jeff Babbitt out of Mount Clemens is on the drums, and uh, Josh Mediet is in uh, Howell, Michigan, and he's our Comes guitar player. In. So we got a whole mix of everybody from all over the place. Well, you love it, and you certainly have been doing it uh, long enough, and, and you, you love every minute of it, and people love hearing you. It's, uh, I'm excited about it. I'm excited yeah. that they can come and, and hear a real, good, a real good concert, and it's, uh, um, you know, they, can, they can leave this concert feeling good. Uh, September or December, December, December the... Uh, December 12th. 12th. And uh, that's the date, and it's at 6 o'clock. The doors open at the East China Education Center here on uh, 6th Street in St. Clair. And uh, don't miss it. You're going to really enjoy it. It's going to, as you said, it'll kick off the Christmas season for yes. you. Looking forward to it. Mr. Lenarski, always a pleasure, sir. Thank you, Paul. Take care of all those people up north when you see them. I will. Uh -huh. <laughs> that's about it for uh, this edition of the uh, Focus Program. Thanks very much for uh, tuning in. Until next time. I'm Paul Dingaman. See you soon. Tune in again soon for another episode of Focus. Make sure to check CTV out on www.watchctv.org or like us on Facebook. <laughs>